Erin Relford here, and today in the cash, oh my god, yeah, I know, it's been a minute, and I apologize. <laughs> Listen, I have been so busy with work, uh, I'm doing mentorship programs, I'm doing a lot right now, and it's, what do I have for you in the cash today? We are talking about the blueprint, I thought about calling it the black print, I thought about, you know what, finally, let's call it the imprint. How are you getting into tech? I know a lot of us women of color, as they like to describe us, I just call us phenomenal, but whatever. I did reach out a lot for people wanting to know how I did it, right? Because I have a phenomenal story, but you didn't show up for story time. Like you really wanna know like, what are these tidbits so that I can work in tech as well? Right, so we're gonna cover a lot, so I'm gonna like kind of cut this up into a series, but more importantly, we're gonna talk about resumes, we're gonna talk about networking, we're gonna talk about mentorship, we're gonna talk about the education. But first up today, solving for why. What does that really mean? So you can hate math and that's fine, but I think for anything that you do, anything that you do, there needs to be some calculus related to that. Like what is your reasoning for doing a thing, right? And when you get into tech, there are a million jobs to choose from, millions. And what do I mean by that? Oh my God, I just found out the other day, did you know that there was such a thing as a bioethicist? <laughs> like they do bioethics in tech. I find that just to be, God, I wish someone had told me that when I was in college, right? I, I would have totally signed up for that, but anywho. So there are a million jobs to choose from and they're all very challenging. They also pay very well and for a good reason because these jobs are hard. The, the, the problems that you are tackling are hard. And so you wanna make sure that you have some kind of interest so that you're not like burned out, bored, or feeling bamboozled. Yeah, I kinda like that. So how do we solve for why? I think you start with, let's go back to way back when you were a kid. What did you most gravitate towards? What were you finding like magic in? I'll give you an example. For me, I would become curious at the things that I could create. I later found out, oh, I actually like to build and oh, you can code and actually create things. That's how I entered into the world of tech at a very young age. So you're not there anymore, that's okay. Have you really thought about what gives you joy in the sense of the day-to-day the -day things that you do? Like there is something out there that you are absolutely enamored with that you can do in tech. Let's say you're in social work. I talked to a young lady not too long ago. She was like, how can I get into tech? And I was like, girl, look. <laughs> There are so many black people right now looking for therapy and hello because of COVID, teletherapy became a thing, right? There's all kind of apps that started popping up and so that was an intersection from social work to tech that she could absolutely get into. More than that, she could even get into the compliance of how tech interacts with health. Let's, let's stop there, I don't wanna bore you with that. <laughs> The point being, there are so many different areas of tech, whether it be on the bottom floor where you are a software engineer building and creating things. And when I say bottom, please don't confuse that with being less important because they're probably the most important. And then on top of that, there are people who are designing the actual product that the software engineers are building for. Just to recap, let's make sure that one, we have identified what we really like to do. Two, how much time am I actually spending doing that thing? Three, is this an area that I can improve upon? And again, just because it's something like very basic, like I like reading, like if you've only gotten that far, you've still gotten somewhere. There are researchers out here in tech who have to go out and find the answers for things. It can only be found through talking to people. So if you like people and you like interviewing, guess what? There's a job in research for you. I don't wanna to get too much into details. Again, I just wanna make sure that you focus on what is the thing that I truly like to do and how can I start to find out what roles are involved in tech that relate to that thing? Have your why, but also you're gonna need your X, which is the how, right? And so you add up 
your how and your why, and that equals your way into tech. If we can get the why part first, the how is so much easier. There's like so many books, programs, workshops, college degrees that you can get into that have the how, but the why is most important for you because those are the building blocks of any successful career. More importantly, it's the building blocks for any successful contribution that you have to society. And that's why we're all really, really here. Yeah, you're gonna get paid. You're gonna get paid. You're gonna make really great things happen in your life, but more importantly, like the great part of being in tech is that you contribute to the larger uh, diaspora of society and improving the lives of others so solve for your why come back for your ex um, I promise I will upload a video and we will talk about the how all of this helped me into getting me into the career I am now as an engineer and we're gonna figure out a way to get you into yours so you got to start somewhere you might as well start with your why it is the easiest place to be because it's the most comfortable for you and it's your happy place my happy place is logged off and ready to go home which I mean I'm at home but you know it's still COVID but whatever so I'm gonna see you guys next time again we'll talk about the X the how of the thing and we'll also get into everything else as far as the resumes the networking the mentorship the education and and even story time if we got time right um, I'll see you guys later bye